Member Barry, policies for fair, of, thank fair you, affairs. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, I froze in TfL fares for the fourth year in a row, making travel more affordable for everyone who lives, works and visits our city. This means many Londoners using TfL services uh, need not pay a penny more than they did in 2016. In contrast, uh, national rail fares have risen by nearly 10% over the same period. I'm proud that by 2020, my fares freeze will have saved the average London household around £200. Under the previous uh, Mayor, TfL fares increased by more than 42% in eight years. I've consistently called on the government to follow my lead and freeze fares in the rest of the rail network, which would allow travel cards to be included, providing a better deal to London suburban rail passengers who continue to be let down. The government's failure to do this explains why the Centre for London's report indicates that infrequent travellers are favoured over regular travel card users. We know that people on low incomes are particularly reliant on the bus network. Around 60% of all Londoners use the bus at least once a week, compared to over 70% in the lowest income households. And that's why my hopper fare helps those who need it the most. The hopper allows unlimited travel on buses and trams within an hour of only £1.50 and has saved people money on over 450 million journeys since it was launched in September 2016. Travel card and bus and tram pass season tickets can provide good value for those travelling on a regular basis. For example, an annual ticket gives 12 months travel for the price of ten and a half months. Those who have less regular work, working patterns may benefit instead from pay-as-you-go fares, which have been frozen since 2016. Fares are based on which service you use and the time of travel and daily capital limits the amount uh, you will pay in a day. With many people now working more flexibly, including working from home and cycling and, walk, and walking more, using pay-as-you-go is increasingly popular and can represent better value for ordinary travellers and commuters. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I mean, as you point out, there, your, your fares freeze is, is not a freeze for regular commuters. Our work has shown that someone reliant on a Zone 1 to 4 travel card, for example, is now £253 a year worse off in their travel costs um, since, since you became mayor. And I think Centre for London's report, uh, which is here, Fair Access, uh, makes a very good point about the uh, benefits to infrequent travellers from your policies so far. Um, as well as commenting on your policies as the current mayor, the Centre for London report also says that a future mayor should review the zone and fare structure to improve affordability, including reducing the difference in fares between zones, reducing the number of zones and rezoning particular stations in low affordability areas. Now, I've put this idea forward before. Are you going to model and investigate the benefits of this kind of policy now? Well, I mean, the, there's a lot in that question, which which I'll, tr I'll try and unpick very, very shortly uh, to give time for further questions. But actually, the pattern of travel is for Oyster Pay as you go transactions, it's going up. It was 40%, it's now 60%. And for those using travel cards, it's going down 54% to 31%. Because well, that's understandable because they're less good value than they used to be. What, what, what they are is people recognise the benefits of this mayor's policies and are using the, the mode of uh, paying which benefits them the most. And what we're going to do is persuade the government to do the same as what I've done, which is to lower fares. Uh, and the way the government can do that is rather than allowing privatised train, op train operating companies to have services which have cancellations, which are overcrowded and have delays, and where the fares go up, to persuade them to freeze their fares uh, as well. And that's the best way of producing travel in London. I mean, I'll, I'll, cover, I'll come to the fares agreement another time, because I haven't got much time. But specifically on the, the zone inequality, you could move the fare zones around. Well, that's one thing you could do. Uh, you'll be aware what we've done is frozen the fares and just the unlimited hopper at the same time uh, as investing in uh, TfL infrastructure going forward. And in the future, uh, Londoners will continue to benefit <coughs> from our fares freeze because now what we've priced in is four years worth of uh, fares freeze. Even in the future, if we decided to increase uh, TfL uh, fares, you'll have seen the business plan, they still benefit from the freeze we've done over these, these four years in my first term as mayor. As I say, the, the Centre for London report does conclude that, that, that regular travellers aren't benefiting from your policies, and I hope you'll look again at the, the fare zone proposals, which I have put forward before. But I am out of time now. I have to move on to my next question uh, later on.